Hey everybody, Solo World I come to you guys with part 8 of Super Mario Galaxy for the Nintendo Switch, the only game where we get to feed hungry Lumas on the Nintendo Switch. So this guy needs 600. I decided to, since every time you turn off the game you automatically start back like at the start of this little area. So what I decided to do is just feed this guy and see what he leads us to. The Drip Drop Galaxy. Uh, I don't know, that sounds like it could be an annoying water level for all we know. And we have Giant Eel Outbreak. Those are eels? Okay, game. Uh oh, Old Man Penguin's like, Tis not the day, Mario. You should go somewhere else. Well, where are we going? Are, are you kidding me? We have to go all the way around. Thank you. Sir. Ever since those big eels showed up, we haven't caught any fish. Get rid of those big eels. If you say so. Woohoo! Anyways, let's do this. Talk about Mario style. And just like that, that's how you're supposed to defeat them. Now let's grab some oxygen. Like that. Wow, you only have to touch the ox or touch the air. I've been playing Odyssey where you actually have to uh You know, gather resources to or not gather resources. They grab oxygen more often. Man, that game has like the worst uh breathing mechanics for a Mario game ever. That sentence kind of came out funny. Wait, that was it? Are, are you... Are you kidding me? That was literally it? Okay, that Torpedo Ted has got to go... Oh god, there's so many and they sound so annoying. Um, game? Point Mario down, please. I am going down. I'm gonna die, because Mario refuses- Oh yeah, Mario! I love these camera angles. Oh, now I can change the camera angle? You gotta be kidding me. I hate swimming in Mario games, by the way. Like, Mario does swimming so bad. But anyways, we got that star. Thank God. Oh god, talk about annoying. Really? And now Rosalina has something else to say? Now what? And that's like something every episode so far that she has to say. No, she doesn't. It just brings us all the way back here. You know, you could give us a shortcut up here, right? Also, why wanna let me- Thank you. The thing with Nintendo is, for pumping out $80 games, especially just kind of ports, not even remasters, you'd think they'd at least fix camera angles. And here's the eerie cave music again. Anyways, last episode we did Go See Galaxy last, and we did one of the Beach Bowls, so let's do the Bubble Breeze Galaxy and see what's up here. And we have Through the Poison Swamp. Interesting. Oh no, it's Captain Yotodil. Why is poor Captain Toad over there? Oh man, I just had some frustrating recordings with um, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Now that is a game that has its moments. Oh, heck yeah. Well, what's this about though? Hey, before you ride any bubbles, let yours truly fill board bend your ear for a sec. You can totally move around in your bubble by holding down like the totally A button, but do it while your star is blowing on the bubble. By the way, when you're playing in handheld mode, don't forget you can blow air by tapping. If you go too far to one side, use the star to blow on the other side, bruh. 
Oh yeah, this. This mechanic actually isn't that bad, honestly. Like, there's there's way worse ones. Yeah, just watch out for the mines and the fan blades. We. Actually, I don't know if the fan blades technically count as damage. Oh, okay, no they don't. Only the mines, that's good to know. Why did I go that way? Eh. Oh god, this is so awkward when you don't have, um... Your room set up for this. Tip, do not do this too close to the TV, otherwise your sensor's kind of weird. Oh, um, this is awkward. There we go. Perfect. Good to know that we can't get hurt on those, though. Hmm. We got so far, and then we just nudged the freaking bomb and blew up. Ugh. There, the drink, we're good. Oh, also, we have to do this. Like, I mean, we have to go over here, that is. Ah, yeah. This isn't bad. It's just not that good. Definitely not the most terrible mechanic ever introduced in a Mario game. That is, like, for sure. That is actually something I will vouch for in this game. That... Ooh. The fans literally sound like fans in your ear. Like, they sound like legitimate summer fans they would use on a hot summer's day. There we go. Oh, we just have to go back around. Alrighty. No. No. Not down that way, Mario. To the right. Oh wait, that wasn't even worth the star, I just realized that. Whoa, that is a lot of star biddies. I was like, that can't be the star. If there's only one star here, I hear it now though. You can hear it in your ear if you're playing on the headset. You guys can probably faintly hear it on the recording, but I don't know. I can hear it. Ooh, there we go, perfect. I don't know if I want this. And of course the camera angle kind of cucks you and kind of moves away. Oh. Oh Mario, you did so good. Okay, so there's a checkpoint. That's I am in handheld mode, dude. I'm using the pro controller, if you can call that handheld mode, that is. Also, I'm still patiently What was that? He wouldn't blow, like oh that just just sounds bad. This galaxy may be a bust for the time being if we lose. I don't plan on losing on purpose, but at this rate, probably gonna lose anyway. Okay, now just stay in here, Mario. Thing is, it doesn't really push you. I think that's what threw me off, is it wasn't actually pushing us. Uh-oh. Oh, Mario, why? 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 Oh, why? My god. These last two recordings I've done in two different games have been brutal. I can't wait to get back and record more Spyro. The game is like never frustrating. There's like one frust three frustrating things about the game I'm currently recording in Spyro 3 there. But really, 
they made it a little bit easier on the uh, re uh, the reignited trilogy version. I think it's this thing. It's just causing me issues because it keeps floating. This music is nice and all, but the uh, rotating wood blocks here are kind of an obnoxiously annoying sounding. Yeah, okay, let's pop that. And open that, I guess. Maybe this is a shortcut, hopefully. Oh, it's like, can I even get through there? And no, it wasn't a shark. It was literally for coins. I am so paranoid. That I'm going really slow. There is a one-up right there. But do you think we can get that? No. I hear the star again. Oh god, thank god, I had to jump out of that before I accidentally popped and died or some random thing. But we got it. We got the star. Perfect. Woo! The evil music. Please be complete. Oh thank god, there's no prankster comet there. I would hate a prankster comet there. And we discovered another galaxy in the kitchen. It's so that one that you get after you get enough stars for the boss. See, when I, my first playthrough, I didn't go back and do everything. So, and the new galaxy is... The buoy Base Galaxy. I remember that one being annoying. But anyways, we did this... Yeah, we'll do the Beach Bowl Galaxy again. We'll do this one. Alright, now... Time to see what we got. There you are, cursor. Passing the swim test. Okay. Probably something to do with these penguins, right? At least the music here is kind of peaceful and happy. Do 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 do. Do 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 Ah yes, the final swim test. Must collect shells in the ocean, and if you bring me the gold shell, it's an automatic win for you. Oh okay. So you're saying our mission is to find a gold star, eh? Or gold star. Gold shell. Oh, there it is. And is it really that easy? Is this really going to be the star? Amazing! I didn't think you'd actually be able to bring it back. Well then, here's a big gold medal for you. Wow. That kind of makes up for those last few stars. So. The game froze for a brief second there. Nice job on the test, but are you even one of my students? Yeah, totally one of your students. Don't question it, I am definitely a penguin. Like, at least in Mario Odyssey, to participate in the race, like that in Shiveria, you actually have to disguise yourself as the one racer. This game, not so much. You just do it and they don't seem to notice. We got like nothing for collectibles from that level though. Already. And then, now we'll go to the Ghostly Galaxy and do the second star. Soon. No, it's gotta be Mario 2 that has the boss I'm thinking of. Anyways, we have a very spooky sprint. Pretty sure this has something to do with, like, disappearing floors. Oh, never mind, it's the race with Boo. I was... 
I was confused the skin with the second one because I believe I actually fully beat the second one, but never fully beat this one. I did beat like the final boss fight on this game, but I never actually collected everything because I got distracted with the other games that came out. Because this wasn't anything new; it was just holding off until other games were out. Can you freaks leave me alone? Also, what is going on here now? This is like super weird. See, if the camera angles cooperate like that in the swimming levels, it wouldn't be so bad, but... Star bits, star bits, more star bits. Lots more. Why are you toads with a boo? Hee hee hee, so you're after it too, eh? Well, you'll have to race me for it. Oh, yeah. wow, there was really no dialogue, okay. I don't know how I couldn't reach that, but... Thank God, Mario, you're kind of doing it, man. It would help if Mario grabs onto the things. And we lost because Mario can't grab the one right in front of him. Like how many? Why is the best time a minute 30? Oh yeah, and by the way, you lose a life. Yep, you die. You just straight up die if you lose a race in this game. I hate this star. And not like you can just skip it either. Also, I did have some recordings of Super Mario 3D World and Bowser's Fury, but I kind of wanted it to have audio because I recorded it before the new capture card was in, so I ended up recording it without audio. Well, like it had voice audio, just didn't have, have, um, like, in-game audio, which, you know, either makes or breaks a channel. Okay, this is working out a little better since it's actually grabbing onto what we want it to grab. Alrighty. There we go. Okay, we actually beat it. Thank you. Didn't turn out too bad. Honestly thought it would. Thank you for the star, Mr. Boo. It's funny how, like, there's, like, the Koopa... There's always a Koopa, a Boo, a Goomba... You know, all that that are actually friendly towards Mario. They just want to have fun. Like, they'll happily give it to you if you can beat them in something simple like a little game. And we did. So, lucky for us. Anyways, that's another star. We kind of had, like, a couple race-type things going on in this. A new chapter has been added to the storybook. Yeah, we'll, we'll look into that later, because there are some little unlockables you can do by going there. Anyways, to finish off this episode, let's do the last star for Ghostly Galaxy. 
at least the last physical star on the list. Beware of Boulder. No, okay, this game is the one that has Boulder Geist. I thought so. It's just Mario, like Super Mario Galaxy 2 was less Bowser and Bowser Jr. based than this game was. Man, we kind of like blew this place apart, I guess. I don't think we actually really go back into the mansion. Oh yeah, never mind. I, I kind of jinxed it. Also, what's this? Oh, there's something glowing there. You know what? There could be a hungry Luma, so... And that mosquito bat just sucked on my face. Alrighty, let's go grab a coin, because luckily in this game, coins heal you. That's one thing that's different about, like, Super Mario Odyssey, is that coins don't heal you, and that bat, like, got bats. I know why Noofy Bonga doesn't like bats. It's amazing how many, like, YouTubers I watch that are apparently Newfoundlanders. Starbits, nice. Wait, what's with the black boo? Oh, they're bomb boos. Oh, okay. That's kind of a cool little gimmick. I don't know why I don't remember these guys at all, though. They sound like kids. Oops. That was not the interaction I was, like, expecting. I know I don't have to destroy these ones, but I want the, the, the stuff from them. And there we go. Yeah, because I clearly seen that in there, but... Oh, I should have got that. That was probably extra health. This level might not have been a good level to finish off the episode. It's actually fairly long looking. 